que c'est que ça Une lumière bleue. Et ça fait quoi Du bleu. Je vois. Said the French collector is back with yet another review of another awesome figure, guys. I had this masterpiece for like two years, three years, I can't remember, ever since it was released. And um, the other day I decided to uh, put some figures back in their boxes. Uh, I need, you know, more space here uh, to display upcoming figures and statues. But uh, some figures I just can't sell, you know. So um, I just put them back in their boxes. And this is one of them. And I realized that I never reviewed it. And I was like, how come I never reviewed this figure? This is a masterpiece. You already saw it in my last couple collection update but um, never a review so I'm not gonna review it so to speak because a lot of you guys out there uh, have already done a very good job at reviewing this uh, beautiful figure but I'm just gonna throw my two cents in there because I'm a huge Sylvester Stallone fan and I love Rambo although I uh, prefer Rocky but I love Rambo especially the first one and the fourth one. This is a figure of Rambo, John Rambo in Rambo 3. Um, one for scale by Enter Bay. And it's a masterpiece. Look at this badass pose. Absolutely crazy. So let's just start with the accessories. We got a, the tank top, but I've never displayed mine with the tank top because... They sculpted his scars on his chest, and it's absolutely amazing. And his six-pack, his muscles overall are so well sculpted and really detailed. A lot of collectors complain, like, yeah, I can't display this one without the tank top, you know, because then you can you see his joints here, and some other collectors, you know, added... Um, a wristband or what not to hide these joints because they're like oh my god joints I hate those fucking joints well you know what guys if you don't like joints why the fuck do you buy figures man I mean don't understand I just love it the way it is I don't mind the joints it's absolutely stunning so we get these um, um, hands and they're very easy to swap you know you don't need to pull or push on them like a, like a bull. Another accessory is this um, bazooka or um, RPG gun made of metal and uh, plastic too of course but uh, very detailed. I love it. As you can see never display my Rambo with this uh, accessory though. We get the AK-47, this thing is a thing of beauty. You can take the magazine now. Let me do this with one hand. I'm sorry, guys. Bullets inside, absolutely amazing. Like Moggy would say. And, of course, real metal, but also real wood. And I had my Rambo in this uh, pose for a long time now. And he was uh, holding... He was carrying this on his shoulder while getting ready to shoot with his um, bow. And uh, Nanny D came here and changed my pose and said, Oh, come on, Seb, you know, Rambo can't carry a bow and an AK-47 and all these bags. That's, that's too much. No, it's not too much. That's fucking John Rambo, man. But anyway, <laughs> love the bass, you know. Um... Afghan soil, very, very detailed. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? Let me show you this. I, I don't think I've ever seen such a detailed base, man. That's crazy. Everything here is sculpted. And um, I love these rocks here. These stones are actually separate pieces that you have to assemble. Look at 
the weathering on his boots, guys. Crazy, isn't it? And then you have this uh, uh, throwing knife here. Let me try to focus. That's just great. Tailoring on his pants. Very nicely done. The leather sheath here for his knife. The knife is made of real um, leather, uh, real metal. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's impressive. I love real metal accessories. Then we have this uh, bag that's stuffed in with uh, foam. They should have added something um, heavier in there, you know, to make it look more natural. I don't know. Oh, another accessory. Where is it? I think it's over there. I forgot to put it on the table. Hold on, guys. There it is. A metal grenade. Very detailed. So, so cool. Just leave it here. We got the... Uh, oh, look at this beautiful watch so detailed with a real fabric uh, wristband and uh, I think it's adjustable too the sculpted veins on his body are incredible okay sorry guys uh, I got cut battery problems you know what it is guys when you film your reviews with a stupid iPhone but anyway I was saying this bow is well, first of all, it's his most iconic weapon in the movies, but it's also the best accessory uh, that comes with this figure, because actually this is a 1-4 scale bow, but it's still a working bow. I mean, you can really, literally shoot these little arrows with that bow. That is crazy. Look at the detail on it. That's great, because you get these um, um, different kind of... Um, arrows those explosive arrows that blow up and the regular ones that you can attach to the bow he's got some others like i said in um in his back back uh, with real working zips yeah an amazing figure but yeah the head sculpt guys i don't know that is Maybe Enter Bay's best head sculpt so far, I would say. Um, look at this. That is Sylvester Stallone through and through. That is incredible. His scar right here, can you see that? I'm going to try to focus. I love it. I just love this. Look at this eyes guys look at that is just him five o'clock shadow very well painted beautiful this band around his head is made of a real fabric you can see it in the back too the problem with my figure is I think it's a little too short but I can arrange that I'll do this one of these days but that's not a big problem this figure guys is a masterpiece I just wanted to talk about it for a few minutes before I put it back in the box but I'm definitely never gonna sell it this is a keeper let me show you the base once again give you a f complete look at it look at these laces those straps actually you can open them you know fasten them unfasten them that's so freaking realistic oh man oh geez I changed the pose again very very happy with this so anyways just wanted to throw my two cents in there regarding this masterpiece Ivan Seb signing out see you soon for another review guys much love